Hey everybody, it's Elliot from the Little Punk People here, and today I'm here with the one and only Tommy from Amorphous. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. Congrats on your album entering the Finnish album charts at number one and the German album charts at number three. How does that feel? It must feel great, right? Yeah, of course. It always feels great. And uh, I think in Finland, it has been number one a few times already. But in Germany, I think this is the best uh, ever. But at the same time, it's not like our goals to these chart entries, of course, naturally, it's more important what fans are liking and stuff like that. But can have to admit it feels good, of course. Yeah, well, as a fan, I love it. <laughs> Great. Are you excited for your North America tour that starts on April 13th in New York City? Yes, it's been like two weeks, two weeks. I hope, wish it was two weeks, two years without like any touring, just a few gigs there and there. And last year, I think we did nine shows. Uh, mostly festivals here in Finland, and they felt very good to have at least something. But yeah. uh, this this is like uh, what we have been waiting for two years. So uh, yeah, yeah, I cannot bet. wait more. <laughs> <laughs> I love your song "Windman," and the guitars remind me of classic metal, like Ozzy Osbourne's "Bark at the Moon" towards the end. What is this song about? Uh, I think it's as I wrote the song and uh, about the lyrics, I'm not the best to answer that because we are uh, have like outsider lyricist who's making the lyrics and uh, he, he doesn't open it too much to us even so uh, it's from his own head and but uh, we have found like nice symbiosis with him and co cooperating with him so uh, uh, Windman so, uh, so far I know that it's from the perspective of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> that's true uh, so that's like well, um, yeah that's, that's of... a unique way of storytelling oh, yeah. <laughs> yes I, I think so i love how your album cover depicts day and night which do you prefer day or night um i would like to answer night but i definitely like one well, i like sun i like the sun very much and i love the summer that's what i live in a wrong place in Finland, <laughs> so it's mostly, mostly uh, dark all the time. But uh, yeah, I like I like if if we talk about weather, I like it. It's more sunny than not sunny. But uh, yeah, I I think I'm more like dark on my mind. I I mean I, I'm I'm not like the happiest person. So in that way, dark is well. That's whether what the cover is all about and the album is all about. Uh, like two different opposite things. Yeah, I understand. I I love the sun, but I also love the darkness too. <laughs> Do you yeah. feel like your music has a deep connection with nature? I noticed that connection in your songs and music videos. Mm. Yes, definitely. I think nature has been always like very big influence to us. Like uh, it's... Uh, I think a lot, a lot of like when we're composing new stuff, it might happen in like some cabin or like in forest. <laughs> I mean, some uh, middle of nature. It's in that kind of place you can just focus. Like you, you don't have any like uh, distractions. Disturbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be in the one with the nature. So I think nature is very important to all of us. And um, it always has been, like, musically and lyrically, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and nature is also kind of inspiring, too. Like, who wouldn't want to make music when you look at a tree or the clouds in the sky or whatever? Mm -hmm. So I love it. Yeah. Your song, War, is so relevant to what's going on in Ukraine right now. Do you think that there will be a ceasefire anytime soon? Well, I hope so. I hope so. This madness, it's totally totally madman's work this thing and i feel bad for ukrainians of course and i feel bad for uh, those russians who don't support this and uh, it's i feel, feel like it's a uh, one madman's work and uh, of course as a finnish we have a long uh, border with russia and we have a history with russia so of course this makes me like worried of course like what's happening in the future and uh, if the whole world would 
go mad someday or something. So it feels like that, but I hope this ends like very soon because this is, uh, I, I cannot even, I don't know, I don't find the words to describe, but it's, it's a depressing thing. Yeah, it's absolute craziness. Do you think that evil exists in this world in human form? Oh, uh, yes, I, that's pretty, pretty sure that it's like that way. Yeah. I don't see any other evilness in this world than a human. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. If you could have your music appear on any movie or TV show soundtrack, what show or film would you pick? Hmm, that was not the easy one. Uh, <laughs> um, well, first, what came to my mind, it was it's breaking the waves movie which doesn't have any music or any sound effects i guess except one <laughs> so uh, i will pick that one because then you have like a like kind of like empty place to put music from your head yes that's a that's a great answer for me whenever i listen to your music i can think of maybe even game of thrones with the dragons and stuff the epicness the beautiful melodies i can totally picture that yeah, I can imagine that as well. What song off of Halo are you looking forward to playing live the most on this tour? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, normally, when you start to play with new songs, it it takes like 10 shows and then you have like some... Uh, then you start to like know how to play it live and uh, then also same time you start to find the songs you like to play live and not that much but uh i would say northwards the opening opening song i think i wait for that and uh because i already know that that probably will be the first song after the intro so uh, i wait for the feeling when finally get to the states and uh, that song when it starts it, yes, yes. do you think there are better planets in the universe that we don't know about would you rather live there if you could? Uh, I guess if there were humans, it would be in the end the same. <laughs> same. I love Earth as a ball, and I, I don't want to destroy it. And uh, I hope, yeah, it. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there is some like same kind of planet somewhere, but it's so far away that we will never find it. But interesting question, anyway. But. Uh, I would like to save this ball first. I agree with that one. What was it like growing up as a metalhead in Finland? Um, when I was a kid, uh, that was eighties, and there wasn't too much like uh, of like metalheads. I I remember I was one of the only ones in the school who had like long hair and. uh, uh, Iron Maiden shirts and you know this heavy thing. It wasn't like a very trendy thing, but at the same time, at that way you find like your own own things. Like when you went to some concerts, you meet people from different cities and different places. So, so I think to me it was like uh, totally like open to new world to me, and I didn't have to stress about the suburb where I was grow- grown up. Uh, which wasn't like the happiest time of my life, but I find my like own path from the like a music scene and uh, people from people who are were thinking same way as than uh, I was. So uh, I think, yeah, it was kind of, kind of small the metal thing, but uh, it it has become like very popular now in Finland, especially. It's like uh, very popular. All the metal bands, so it's totally different than when I was a kid. So nice. Well, I I can relate to that because growing up in middle school and elementary school, I was the only metal head in the entire school. Mm-hmm. But then as time went on, maybe there'll be one kid that liked metal, and then we just grew with that friendship. So definitely a unique. It's like this almost this special little club, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I remember to pick like uh, somebody have a more <laughs> t-shirt and long. 
uh, we could be a friend. So. Respect. <laughs> but like that. Yeah, yeah. What are your top five favorite bands of all time? Top five. Okay. Um, Pink Floyd. Um, ABBA. Uh, that was my like, childhood music from the parents. Um, Iron Maiden. Yes. I would say. Iron Maiden right there. Slayer. Yeah. And Chetro Tool. That oh. was what I was listening a lot when I was like certain age. Well, I can't argue with those picks. That is some great music. <laughs> Thank you. If you could eliminate one bad thing in this world, what would that be? Um, greediness. That's a good one. That is a really, really good one. Do you believe there's an afterlife? And what do you hope it will be? Um, I'm not a religious person in any way. So uh, I really don't know. I hope there would be some after life, but uh, I don't think, in my opinion, there isn't any like heaven. If I, I could believe some kind of, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe if, if it's something very strange, like we, we wake up in a different planet and we are like just test animals of some, <laughs> some something. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm, I'm not a religious person. I'm focusing on this life, but it would be, of course, fun. And nobody knows, actually. I, I, I cannot say I'm right or wrong, so nobody can. So we will see. It would be pretty crazy if you died and then you woke up on a different planet. That would actually be a, that's a good theory. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about that earlier, so maybe Yeah. that's the port to go there. <laughs> When and where do you usually feel the most at peace with yourself? Um, well, that would be in like countryside, like just like in the middle of nature and uh, don't very like silent, just just like singing of birds and uh, coming up from sauna and swinging in a lake and then just relaxing. That's that's my mental place, mental place. Same here. I love going hiking and going on hiking trails, going to lakes and stuff. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Who in life do you strive to make the most proud? Well, I'd like to have it like my kids will be proud from, of me. That's the most important. So let's say there's, you know, the future version of yourself. What do you mm. think the future version of yourself would say to the present version of yourself? So the version of you now. Uh, I hope it would say something like, uh, shouldn't worry too much about things and uh, just like relax and uh, don't, don't get depressed so easily. <laughs> That's a good answer. Be happy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, thanks for this interview. It was a very interesting questions. Like, thank you. I mean, totally different than normally. So, <laughs> only, in good, only in a good way. Like, <laughs> I had to think twice a few of them. And uh, would be great to see you all in the uh, States on yes. the tour, which should happen in one month. And uh, yeah, hope be to awesome. see you there and, uh, and, uh, and all the fans listen to the new album, of course. Thank you so, so much once again. Uh, thank you for producing incredible music and bringing it to the world. I really appreciate your time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, thank you very much. You too. Thank you. See you. See ya.